hello YouTube, we still ain't got a trim. Uh, it's Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, I've got this week off of work actually, and um, I'm gonna get my hair cut tomorrow because I'm paid tomorrow. Uh, I'm currently ch chilling in the new car. We no longer have the uh, the Ford. We're chilling in the Miazda. I don't know why I said that weird. I keep saying shit really weird. Uh, any of your long time viewers would know. I've been after an MX-5 for fucking ages. So I'm happy to finally have one. It's a bit of a fixer upper. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'll show you what I need to do because why not stretch the video out a bit, but loads of space in here uh, this is a level my camera is level with my eyes if i put the sun visor down that's generally all i can see so that's not that great uh the visibility out the back's all right i mean if i turn around there's quite a lot of room i didn't know i had this little shelf here so that's all right this version is the 99 version which is annoying because that means it consists of roll down windows uh, I don't know what other tech I have or what other tech I do not have, sorry. This does come with a radio. My radio is upstairs. Uh, I'm just waiting for a fucking ISO adapter or whatever they're called, which is annoying. But to be fair, for £1,100, yeah, 1100 quid, the interior is all right. I mean, this car is actually older than me. So let's pop the hood and we'll go and have a look under the bonnet. Alright, the thing I need to fix is one second. I don't know if you can see, but this bar here has uh, definitely seen better days. It's kind of like crisping off into nothingness. But, um, and as you can see there, these steering lines are rusty as fuck. But other than that, it's all right. I mean, the car's got bits of rust everywhere. But like I said, it's 21 years old. It's going to have rust. See, like, ill here. But nothing's proper, like, there's no structural damage. All the seals are calm. So, happy day. And all I've got is this teeny bit of rust here at the back. I, I would zoom out, but I'm not flashing you my number plate because I just got it. Anyway, if you're watching this video and you know about MX-5s, you will know that these seals uh, love to rust. But if you have a look under here, I mean, it's got a bit of discoloration, but they're fucking solid as a rock, mate. So that is like the most valuable part of the MX-5. If you can find one with good seals, you're fucking laughing. And obviously, you can't really see because of the sun. Got a nice new fucking hard top on it. Where the... Oh, I didn't notice that inside. It is so sick. I'm trying to flash it without showing my number plate, but like... Look how small that is compared to that car. And that car is not even a big car. They're just so cute, man. Oh, I just fucking sneezed. And now I feel extra ill because I've sneezed. But oh, we're going to smoke a little joint. Oh, if you're watching this video and you've clicked on it because it's probably titled something to do with cars, I'm sorry, but we do normally smoke weed in the videos. But... Obviously not while I'm driving. <laughs> oh my god. I hate sneezing. Because it fucks me up for ages. I sneeze once and I'll be sat there feeling fucked for like 30 minutes. But anyway. I know people are probably going to say that I could have probably got a better car with that money. I mean it was only £1,100. There was probably not much better shit you could get for 1100 quid. But I have wanted one of them for fucking years, at least five, six, seven years, at least since I started getting into cars, which I know people, like I said, people are probably going to tell me I could have got something better or something quicker, but that's what I wanted. That was literally my dream car. And I know most people dreams, well, technically Tesla's probably my dream car, but I've wanted one of them for so long. And it's so nice to actually just have one. Not even just because it's a Mazda, but it's just so nice to have something that I've wanted for ages. Oh my god. I feel fucked. But I wanted to get as sort of like a little project. 
because obviously if I get it as a project it gives me something to do videos on and then it's, it's a bit more engaging for you lot and then it might get some of you lot into Mazdas because not Mazdas themselves but MX-5s are the best cars especially the Mark 1 closely followed by the Mark 2 I do prefer the Mark 1 the one with the pop up headlights because they are sick uh, that's, ideally that's the one I wanted but they're like 3 4 grand now for a decent one so uh, I ain't got money like that to spend on a 30 year old car like I said that car is 21 years old it's a month older than me uh, so that's mad but it's got full service history I just I don't know the speedo don't work though I need to get that fixed that's the only thing that don't work uh which is literally on the test drive. This woman had it up for 1,600, I think. Uh, on the test drive, a fucking speedo stopped working. And I was like, oh, nice. And so I said to her, I was like, I'll give you 1,100 for it. She said, just said, yeah. So, happy days. I've heard they're not that expensive to fix. It's literally just a cable or a little gear. That like just clocks how quick you go. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, in this video, I want you to let me know what cars you drive, or if you've got any project cars, let me know. Uh, send me some photos on Instagram if you want, I do love cars just as much as weed, so... Uh, I wasn't originally going to do a car YouTube account instead of a weed YouTube account, but I'm happy I've done weed now, because it's more interacting. Car parts are expensive as well, I'd probably be able to do like a video a month, if that. Uh, Charlie likes to waste his money, so... But anyway, if you've liked this... Subscribe. I mean, it's a bit different. I don't think there's any car YouTubers out there that smoke weed. I'm not saying I'm just going to do videos on cars now, but whatever video there is normally fucking weed involved. It could be a fucking. I don't even know what to suggest. Uh, I don't know. I was trying to think of something funny. It could be. I don't know anything, but I'll whip out a joint at some point in the video. That's what I try to do anyway, because sometimes when I haven't got weed, I don't really like to film videos when I haven't got weed, because the idea of my account is that we sit here, we get stoned and we talk about shit. What's the point of watching my videos if we're not smoking and we're just sat here? I understand that it's cool, it's nice, and it's good to keep up the upload schedule, but I'd rather keep the better videos that are at a lower quantity. But anyway, I'm going to go and blow my nose. <coughs> I've hoped you enjoyed. If you want to see some more videos on the Mazda, we will. But next time, I'll just take the number plates off. And then we'll do a proper video on it. And then we'll get get to know it sort of thing. We'll go for a little drive, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to find a way to mount the phone or some shit. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>